Hey guys, John here with RealTruck.com. Today I want to show you how to install the Add a Leaf kit from Zone to this 2014 Chevy Silverado. As you can see here, our Add a Leaf kit from Zone Off-Road Products comes with everything you need to put this on your truck. And the nice thing about this is, is that if you're hauling a heavy camper or a trailer of some sort, and you know how most time you put that on the back of your truck, your truck wants to really squat down hard. Well, what this is going to do, this is going to help keep that a little bit more level and it will increase the rear lift on the truck by about an inch, inch and a half, depending on the truck and depending on how much settling there is when you're not loaded. So um, what we got here is we have everything to get it on the truck. We have our Adeliefs, we have our spring clamps, and we also have our center pin bolts and also our aluminum shim plates. So next thing we're going to do is start putting this on the truck. The next thing we're going to do after we get the wheels off is we're going to disconnect our brake line bracket from the differential right here. So we got that loose. Next thing we're going to do is unclip our ABS line from our frame rail. Do our emergency brake bracket on the driver's side. And we're also going to remove this one up here. Take our shocks off. And hang on to the bolts because we'll need those to put the new shocks on. There's also one more up the top we have to take loose. Unfortunately, that one doesn't have a nut on the back side. It's built right onto the bracket. So we don't have to worry about trying to hang on to that. Once our shocks are off, then we're going to pull our U-bolts off. Now, when you get to this point, it's very important that if you're doing this up in the air, you have some kind of a jack like we have up underneath the differential here. Ah. And we'll take these off. All right, guys, once we have the U-bolt off, what we're going to do now is we're going to slowly let this down so that we can remove that factory block about as far as we want to go because we don't want to put too much pressure on our ABS line here. So we'll take that new block out, let's wipe this off a little bit, clean it up. Once we got our block out of the way, the next thing we're going to do is take a couple C-clamps and we want to crank these down on either side of our center pin. And if you're wondering what the center pin is, that would be this pin right here, it runs all the way through to the top. What we're going to do is we're going to remove that center pin, but we don't want these leaves to come flinging apart when we do that because one it's dangerous and two it could damage them okay once we have that clamp down we're gonna pull this center pin out of here we're taking this nut off up here at the top and then we may have to drive it out but we'll see what happens when we get the nut off Okay, and as you guys can see, we have the nut off, but the pin's not coming out, which means we'll have to, to drive that out of there. So don't worry about damaging the center pin because we're not going to be reusing it anyway. So it should be, should be okay. There we go. We got that out. Now what we're going to do, once we have that loose, is we're going to slowly release these clamps because we need to get our leaf in here. And we're not going to be able to do that with these clamps on here. So, and it's important when we release these to uh, keep these things in line and not to release them too fast that they go springing all over the place. You keep everything nice and in order here too because you want to make sure that you put everything back exactly the way it came out. When you get this apart, you may notice on, on some applications there may be this pin that's sticking up here. What you can do with this is it's just a roll pin. Just pull this, this leaf down out of here 
and drive that roll pin out. What that is, is that's a lineup pin that goes into the bottom of this, of this other leaf, but we need to put our add a leaf here in the middle and our add a leaf doesn't have the spot for the roll pin. Once we got that roll pin out of there, what I want to do is I'm going to pull this bottom leaf out and then what we're going to do with this is we're just going to lay it down here on the floor and we're going to take our add a leaf and our add a leaf shim and our centering bolt and we're just going to put this together and make sure that when we do this we actually get this into the correct hole because remember we had the one where we took the roll pin out of and we don't want to put this back in that hole because that just won't work. Okay, and once we have this piece together, then we'll set this back up into the truck. We'll slide this up in here, we'll get this down in there. And then what we wanna do is lift this middle spring up, get it back up on top of here. And then just make sure everything is lined up properly here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lift this rear end back up until that leaf touches up there. Once we have our stuff back together, we put our plate back on top, our nut on our centering bolt. Then what we're going to do here is we're going to use our clamps and pull our springs back together because you don't want to actually pull these together using this nut and bolt because it could damage it, strip the threads or something like that. All right, now what we're gonna do here, guys, is just snug this with our wrench, use our torque wrench, and we're gonna to torque this center nut down to 30 foot-pounds. Okay, that's 30 foot-pounds. So once we have that, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this rear end back down a bit. At this point, then we can go ahead and remove our C-clamps. Once that's all together and torqued, let us down, we can remove our clamps. And then what we're gonna do, at this point, we th that will complete the installation of our add leaf kit for this side. <laughs> 